Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm the book geek also known as Kiava and this is episode 5 for House of the Dragon season 2. Whoa, last, last episode. We lost a major character, a major player on the black side. They took a major hit by losing Rhaenys. We needed Nisi, okay? We needed her strength and her wisdom and her dragon. You know what I'm saying? She had one of the bigger dragons. And now, like, that, that's the major loss for the black side. They took a crazy L with that one. Okay? I can't wait to see how Corliss reacts to this. In the beginning of episode four, we see Alicent playing with a dragon, and then it falls and it breaks. I thought that was foreshadowing for a falling dragon. Um, and we ended up having two falling dragons, Sunfire and Melis. Sunfire is so beautiful and one thing I do not like about House of the Dragon is that they did not spend enough money to make the dragons look as extravagant as they should be. Sunfire, when he was flying outside, the, when the sunlight hit his scales, he should have been glowing. The way that they describe Sunfire and the way you see it, it, it Sunfire illustrated, we got that one little glimpse of his shiny um, scales when they did that close up of Sunfire and Aegon before he rolled off on Aegon, before Aegon rolled off on Sunfire. Um, and that was such a cute moment as well. Like you really saw the humanity side of Aegon when his dragon nudged him and he had that smile on his face. I thought that was such a heartwarming moment. But, um, and, and another thing, Game of Thrones is really good at the characterization, okay? No one character is all bad or all evil. They all have layers to them. And as you watch the show, you end up sympathizing or enjoying or liking a character that you thought you was going to hate. Even though they did some heinous things in the past, you still find that you enjoy this character. And that's the way it is when I'm watching the show. I'm team black all the way, okay? But I very much enjoy Aemon, and I think Aegon is a very interesting character. Despite what he did, it, you know, was despicable in season one and probably some things that he probably was still doing as an adult um, were despicable, you know, the things with the, the way he treated women and whatnot. It just... Game of Thrones does that with their characterization. They're very good at writing characters. Um, well, I should say George R. R. Martin is very good at writing characters. Um, but anyway, back to the dragons. They didn't put enough detail into just how beautiful Sunfire is supposed to be. Sunfire is supposed to be one of the most beautiful dragons. And I felt so bad for Sunfire because he, he didn't ask for none of that. None of these dragons asked for this. And I have wrote that in somebody's comment, um, another reactor's comment about how I feel bad for the dragons. And this, the person was like, well, I don't feel bad for dragons because they're vicious creatures and they would have killed each other anyway. Uh, yeah, they probably would come across each other and fight each other, but for a, a reason that would make sense in um, dragon in dragon sense, you know, like, uh, let's say for instance, it's, it's the same thing in the wild. Okay. You see animals all the time coexisting with one another. They fight each other for territories and they, they fight and kill other animals, um, for food or to mate, things like that. They don't just, usually animals do not just attack one another just for the sake of attacking one another. So yeah, they might've fought and might've killed each other. Um, but it would have been for some sort of reason that made sense for them being dragons. Not just, you know what I mean? They're not just flying around killing each other all day long. Otherwise, there would be no dragons left at all. They're animals. They're going to fight each other if, if, a, if they feel threatened by another dragon. They're going to fight each other if they have to protect their young from another dragon or something like that. Or for food. They not just gonna see each other and pull up on each other and just start fighting each other. That's not how it worked in the animal world. And I'm pretty sure that's not how it worked in dragon in the dragon world. We saw dragons in a cave all coexisting together. All right, Vagar don't be fucking with nobody until he's his dragon rider beckons him to fuck with other people. You know what I mean? Or if somebody shoot fire at Vagar, then Vagar going attack back. Vagar ain't just attacking motherfuckers willy nilly just to be doing it. 
So that's what I mean. I feel sorry for the dragons because they would not be fighting and killing each other like this if it wasn't for the input of humans. If it wasn't for human interaction. These humans are riding them and sending them into battle for their stupid ass causes. And they're going to cause the death and destruction of all these dragons. If all animals, predators, man eaters, carnivores did that, there will be none of them left. Okay? No species destroys itself like humans. And because humans are so used to destroying themselves, they destroy other species as well. Okay? No other species does that. You don't see lions just fighting each other just for the fuck of it. Okay? <laughs> They're coexisting until they have a reason to fight one another. That's not how animals run. Okay? If you ask me, they're more civilized than humans. Because humans just fight to kill you for no fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that I just wanted to make that point. Yes, it is the humans' fault. And yes, I can't feel sorry for the dragons because they wouldn't be getting slaughtered like this if it wasn't for the input of these humans. Back to what I was saying. Aegon is so freaking stupid trying to prove something to everybody and fucked around and got blown out of the goddamn sky. His brother was trying to take him out. <laughs> Amos said, make fun of me one more goddamn time. Laugh again, bitch. I dare you. I double dare you. <laughs> he said, I don't give a fuck. Jakari's on you and her. <laughs> uh, all right, let's jump into episode five. I'm hot, y'all. It's like 90 something degrees outside. I turned the AC off, but I do got the window open. You might hear some background noise. It's 90 something degrees outside. Okay, let's get the episode started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Right now it's Monday because I did not film and watch this last night. So I'm watching it now. Monday at 2.51 p.m. Eh. Yeah. Ah. She looked like Daenerys right there looking up. You just keep taking losses, my dear. Y'all gonna have to play dirty. Ain't no playing fair. Behold! The traitor dragon Maylees! No, they not. At Brooks Rest! By your king! He ain't slaying shit, but you know they gotta keep up appearances. Your plan kind of backfired on you, Kristen. Where's Aegon? In Sunfire. Oh, is Aegon in that box? How can a dragon be a traitor? It's just me. Those bodies are still hanging up there. Daenerys gonna burn all that shit down. Every time I see that, I just think about her burning this shit down. He looks so proud. Damon don't give a fuck, y'all. <laughs> I don't think he's dead. I just think he fucked up. <laughs> Where's Sunfire? That's all I... Is Sunfire okay? Because uh, I don't know if Sunfire is a male or female, but that dragon did not deserve that. I don't know what happens to Helena during this whole battle between the family... But I can't imagine anything good. And she's the one who don't deserve shit to happen to them. But he can't rule in that condition, can he? Ah, the armor, the armor. Ah, because of the fire, it is stuck to him. Ah. Is he well done? Is my son going to die? I'm afraid I cannot say. Now, it is at this moment where I do sympathize with... um. Well, I don't know why that made me so emotional, her saying, is my son going to die? Whew! Like, that made me really emotional. I have sons, so... Look at this bastard! <laughs> that's like, that's like somebody killing you and showing up at your funeral, at your wake. Come view the body and everything. Knowing they the ones who took you out. 
That that's wild. Amen is a bold motherfucker. Okay. He got he's on some Damon energy. Someone will have to rule in his stead. Oh yeah. You, right? Cut your finger. Cut cut it off. <laughs> I hope she come in to like complain, curse him out, something. Because it was Eamon and fucking Kristen Cole's secret plan that caused all this. He sacrificed his own men. They didn't even know what the plan was. <laughs> and the king's dragon. Sunfire was going in the dying. The king. Is Sunfire going to be dead? Because in the fucking book, Sunfire survived along with Aegon. Sunfire plays a... a important role later on. I don't want Sunfire to die. He was so pretty. Nanny? You, everybody saw what happened. Tell her what happened. She suspects. What was his part in this? Kristen Cole marches about the crown lands unchallenged. Is this the same man that's always yelling? Kristen. Yeah, this is What's the same this? man. What's this man's name? He gonna be a motherfucking problem. He gonna be a problem. He always bitching and moaning at the fucking council. Yeah, he gonna be a problem. He gonna be a problem. I, they giving him too much focus. Who has left us after some marital spat? Do you take issue with me, Sir Alfred? Sir Alfred? He's a problem. He's a problem, y'all. Sir Alfred is a problem. Just remember that. Gentle sex. Heretofore has not been much privy to the strategies of battle or their execution. So women aren't capable of doing that. There has been peace in our lifetime. You've seen no more battles than I have. Oh! Yeah, Viserys had 80 years of peace. If we can strike King's Landing before that dragon is recovered. Then I myself must do it. My queen, you are the crown. It's out of the question. What would you have me do? She don't want to send anybody else to die. But if she goes and dies, then, then what? I would sooner be the lord of bones and cinders than bend my knee before some heathen blackwood cunt and his hired dragon. We choose fire. Oh, shit. These some brave men. They, at least they turned their back, so brace yourself. Oh, God. That was a I shot. I they would be so eager to die. Some people have their honor, Damon. Parading a dragon's head through the streets like a prize of war. But the people see an ill omen. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. They are afraid. Bread is scarce. The king has fallen. They whisper to each other that when Viserys lived, there was peace. Do not underestimate your subjects. Use it to your advantage. Your grace. What you cannot do, let others do for you. She's smart. Damn. Oh, God, come on. More visions? Who's that? Damn. You're You're always the strong one. What is he going through You're psychologically? Great love in his Am I supposed to know this woman? I, I don't, I don't remember her. Viserys was unsuited for the crown. But you, being a new mate, to wear it. Okay. If only you'd been born first. My favorite son. Is that his mother? The shit that's happening with Damon is such a mind fuck. I don't know what's happening. But now we must name a regent to take his place until he recovers. Who's she going? What? Is it going to be like a vote? Like, how does this work? The regency will assure the people of the stability of the crown. Or does it just pass down to Aemon now? Did you have a candidate in mind, Lucas? I myself sat in this role with my husband, I am well prepared to do it again. The obvious choice is his immediate successor, 
Insane. No. Agreed. She don't want him because she, she know how he is and what he just did. They not gonna agree to you ruling, Alicent. You're one woman in a room full of men. The surest path to security, Queen Alison ably shouldered the duties of the run when her husband's health failed him. Experience is valuable, yes, but the Dowager Queen is a woman. I am no stranger to rule or to sitting at this council. Aemon is a fearsome dragon rider, his skill is better. It's crazy because both Alison and Rhaenyra are one woman in a room full of men trying to talk over them. Okay? Rhaenyra is dealing with the same thing that Alison is dealing with right now. She don't want Aemon to rule because she already suspects Aemon tried to take his brother out. She already suspect foul play. She can see right through this. And either the men can't see right through it or they don't care. She gonna look to Kristen like you ain't gonna speak up in my behalf. No, honey, he's not. <laughs> the fuck? Stop giving him the draws. When he don't deserve it. Lord Laris. I agree, Your Grace. It must be Prince Aemon. I don't know why you thought he was going to be on your side, honey. <laughs> you ain't been giving him no feet action lately. He saw the plan B T. He know that you hooking up with Kristen. He feeling some type of way about all of that. He's no longer on your side. You are a woman in a room full of men. What you say don't matter. They're not going to take your side and Eamon going to get the position. The fuck? Sir Kristen will save. He ain't going to back her. He's not going to back her. Eamon is the next in line. Ha! Allison! He couldn't even... He couldn't even look her in the face. He couldn't even look up. He's looking at the table like a... A child that just got scolded. I'm sorry, but it's, it's got to be Eamon. <laughs> Woo! You dirty, you dirty boy, you, Eamon. You, he's sitting at the head of the table, y'all. Allison, why don't you take Helena and her, ch her child that she got left? Why don't y'all just leave? This is no longer y'all fight. She's doing some amazing acting right here. She The camera on her is getting closer. The heavy breathing, the look on her face, that is amazing. She know. Someone cut down the fucking rat catchers. Yes, please cut them down. That was a good call. She is terrified because she know Eamon is a monster. Have you been paid for those machines you were forced to build? The king has promised payment. The king, the king is nothing. laid up some goddamn where. He can't do shit for y'all. I'm taking my children and I'm leaving before these dragons come over here and fuck us up. Look at the dog. He following cheese. Even as a rotten corpse, that dog stayed by his side. Even though he treated that dog like shit. That's one loyal ass puppy, man. <laughs> Look at the dog in the background, y'all. It is the next in line. It is the order of things. You know who she is. Yeah. What he's somehow become. Yeah. And what he did. Has your loyalty faded, or does it flourish only at night and flee the sunrise like a moth? Ah! Look up, bitch! He can't look nobody in the face! I not spared you. What we must do now is terrible. Will you preside over it? Is this who you are? Do not ask me, bad. I did not give you leave to speak my name. Alison, don't say my name. Say my name. <laughs> 
Don't say my name, say my name. People trying to flee? Are people trying to flee? It ain't safe here. This is when Rhaenyra needs to swoop in and offer the people of King's Landing something. You get the people on your side. She cannot succeed, Alice. Even if I willed it to be so, the people who support her will not be led by her. They look to a man for strength. your peace to King's Landing then. They will accept it most gleefully. Rather I would sail into the West and be lost. You have done so before. At great cost to yourself and those who loved you. She don't spare no words, okay? Rhaenys was, I will see Rhaenyra ascend the Iron Throne as Rhaenys wished. As Rhaenys herself should have. I would make you my heir. I am blood and fire. Driftmark must pass to salt and sea. Hmm. <laughs> Very smart girl. The sacred steps on Bracken lands were looted and burned. As were the fields and farms. The Brackens were given their chance. They would not see reason. The Blackwoods have exploited the war for the crown to visit atrocities. Careful. Careful. Please be careful. Proudly carried the banner of House Targaryen. Because Damon is a loose fucking cannon. A terrible war is being fought in these lands. He looked after our girls. We should have expected nothing more from a man who ordered the slaughter of a child in his mother's arms. Uh, they need to that stop. Lie, and I will have the man who told it more before me. He is not in a good headspace. I would tread carefully. I was really afraid Damon was going lash out on somebody there that iron throne is a curse was, was it worth the price? price she know what you did i hope he don't hurt his sister i feel like he cares for his sister The boy is messed up. Ah! Oh! He sensed she was there. But if all else fails, it is I who must fight. Vega is big. But Cyrax is quicker. So was Melise. Melise fought two dragons and one of them is slain. I can't believe they killed off Sunfire. Shall I fight for my birthright or shall I wait here until we are all destroyed? I need dragons. Yeah, y'all need more dragons. You have to kill Vagar. That should be number one. We have two large enough to stand against Vagar. They are called Vermithor and Silverwing. And they sleep just beneath our feet. Yes, if only they had riders, none could stand against me. There are those of our line who never ruled. Mm -hmm. Those who married into other noble houses. Their children born with other names. Maybe they can be dragon riders. Ago or more. Blood would be thin. You won't know until you try it. He's just suggesting you put a mask on a dragon. dragon. Why not? Entirely. It's better than the leather feet. feet. There could be scores of them. We 
It's a mad sword. Damn. That's not the end of the episode, is it? For real? The AC is back on. The window curtains are back open. Um, but this is just me closing out episode five. Um, it wasn't an action heavy episode, um, but I know there's more to come. I don't know what's happening with Damon. He's battling something internally. I mean, I understand the part about him wanting to rule but i don't think he would ever go as far as um i think he'll still be on rainier's side i don't think he'll ever like try to go against her like that um so i do think whatever he's doing at heron hall is still going to benefit rainier it's just that once everything is said and done he wants her to understand that he wants the throne and she is to be at his side instead of her on the throne and he at hers um if i'm understanding that correctly um uh Aegon saying mommy at the end i never thought i would see allison um uh, keeping vigil at her son's bedside um i was hoping we saw what happened to rainice's remains but maybe we'll find out later on i imagine she was all charred and burned um yeah um jace is stepping up him and his mother uh got an idea there at the end can't wait to see that you know go into fruition can't wait to see what comes of that and uh overall i thought it was a pretty good episode anyways i'm gonna get ready to go i will see you guys in my next one bye